All right, YouTube, I'm back again. Is this part five? I didn't forget. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's just say this is uh, the scary, the scary game one now. So you see what's on top right there, right? So let's uh, let's do that. Let's do this. Okay, I gotta whip out my old school classic right here. Hey y'all. When I first played Silent Hill on PS1, because, see, one of the best things about PS2 is that you can play all your PS1 games. You got two libraries that you can work with. So, y'all already know that, but first let me talk about my man here, Harry Mason. This game did scare me. I don't always get scared. You know, I play games and I'll be like, it's fun, but this game was scary. That that siren in this game when everything goes dark and evil in this game, it's profound and it's scary when it happens in the later games. It's not as scary. But in this one, when you start hearing that siren and you going into hell, the hellish of hell it's scary, man. I mean, I'm just telling you, I like Silent Hill. And I've had this game since like 1999. I mean, I hope y'all realize how old these games are. This game, this in my hand is about 20 years old. All right, let's put that back. Okay, so now we got Silent Hill 3. This is actually the sequel to Silent Hill 1. Because I don't want no spoilers here. But you know what? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do no spoilers. With horror games, I'm not gonna say as much because those are spoilers. All right, let's just say that. This girl, she's the main character, and she's going to end up in Silent Hill, obviously, right? Silent Hill 3, her story. Also awesome. And and I got to admit that I have to uh, play this one again because I just know this one so well because I spent so much time playing it. I got to get to know this one just as well. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Resident Evil 4. How many times have this game been remade? GameCube, PS2, PS3, Remake, PC, 1080p, HD. Make it again. Was Resident Evil 4 really the best one? Because they treat it like it is. I personally always thought Resident Evil 2 for PS1 was the best. But I guess people just really like the fact that you can uh, aim that gun and shoot body parts resident evil 4 it was a good game but that scary village that people talk about it was only at the beginning of the game you know like if most of the game was in that scary village and and it was well well i guess it was you kind of do go through that world but um but they really just be talking about that first scene but Resident Evil 4 is a long game. It's a long horror game. And it's definitely entertaining. I give them props on it. You know, it's a... Everybody's played it. I don't need to say too much about RE4, do I? Everybody's played it. Play it on any system. The Suffering. Wait a minute. The Suffering. And the Suffering ties that bond. The best thing about Suffering is the setting. This mug is in jail on death row with criminals. And that's that's the interesting part about it is that he's not a good guy. He's in prison. And it, it and it kind of remind you, you know, it's it, it's silence of the lambish in ways. It's uh the lawnmower man in ways, if you remember that old movie. But uh it's heck. It's even Hellraiser-ish in ways. Um, but it's definitely an acquired taste. So only play the suffering if you're into that suffering. You feel me? <laughs> Silent Hill 2. Check, check out my art, though. Check out my art. You like it? It's dope, ain't it? I think that really tells the story there. Most people say that Silent Hill 2 is the best one. People like the twist and the storyline. They like where it go. A lot of people feel for this guy. But I don't. I'm not going to tell you why though. Because that would be a spoiler. You, 
you can't you can't reveal stuff with horror games because you just can't. Siren, another horror game. The Japanese be on it. Let me just point out that all of these, most of these have the Japanese horror style. Definitely the Siren, because uh, in this game, you have to see through the eyes of the whatever they are. The thing that's trying to kill you, you have to see through its eyes. And then you realize that it's looking at you. <laughs> anyway, moving on. If you want this game, Fatal Frame 2, be prepared to pay some money. Fatal Frame and Fatal Frame 2, these games are scary, yo. Um, you have to get close and personal with the creepy crawlies. Ghosts are around. Some ghosts don't care nothing about you. Some ghosts want to hurt you. Some ghosts trying to tell you something. Some ghosts are just lost. But that's the whole point. You never know. And they just show up or don't show up. You know what I'm saying? All you got is a camera. And you trying to find them. You trying to take pictures of them. You trying to go ch ch so fatal frame is is unique it's if you like horror games fatal frame is a unique one no doubt about it it's not a game that you have a whole room of people no nope, you sit by yourself in a dark room and you play it that's the way you do it don't be scared do it all right i'm at six minutes so let's move to the next stack there is ps2 has one of the best horror lineups you can get this ain't even all of them this is just some of mine that i like but when it comes to horror games ps2 just killed it when it comes to rpgs ps2 killed it when it came to like adventure games p like god of war and all that and open world ps2 just killed it deus ex the conspiracy this is a game that PC players just ooze on and on about. Back back when, the, when this game came out, PC players act like Deus Ex was just they. That's the one that puts them above all console games. You'll never have a game like Deus Ex on console. Nyah, nyah. You know, that's how they do it. Like the 1930. Nyah, you will never have a game like us. PC. Nyah. But... And then what ends up happening? Deus Ex comes out on PlayStation 2. This was my first experience with a Deus Ex game. And I had no problem playing it. And they say, well, it's different from the PC version. I say, so what? It looks better than the PC version. I saw the PC version is all blocky. This game had updated graphics. The PS2 version looks better. And it had full motion video. Whereas the PC version is in-game cutscenes. Where this one had fmv and you know fmv was the rage back in them days but i really like this game man the story in this deus ex oh my god man the conspiracy and the illuminati and the hidden societies like this game brought it like it, it got that matrix style it got that uh hidden hidden everything is not what it seems uh it's intelligent there are so many ways that you can get things done. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do it that way. Figure out another way to do it. Like, that's the way this game is. And I got to give it props for that. You know, and the PS2 was able to uh, handle it. You know, no slowdown. If y'all don't know what Project Snowblind is, the game is an unofficial Deus Ex game. You might not know that, but this was supposed to be a Deus Ex game, and it ended up becoming a more action game, and they called it Project Snowblind. But you upgrade this guy just like you would do in Deus Ex, and you'd be like, hey, some of this stuff feels familiar. Is this supposed to be a DX game? And the answer is, yeah. And it just kind of got watered down into a new thing. But of all the games, I would say that this one is not... Oh, this game is dope and fire. No, but it's but it's a rarity. You play it because it's like 
Hey, let's play the Deus Ex game that wasn't a Deus Ex game. You see what I'm saying? All right. All right. So anyway, I'm at the 10 minute mark and dang, that video went fast. Moving on. I think I'm heading off to part, what, six, five? I didn't lost count. When I get back to the next video, I'll be back on. So anyway, thanks for watching that and peace out. Tell me what you think of PS2 horror games. Tell me what you think of Baby Deus Ex, Project Snowblind. Peace.